Hello YouTube, what's up? It is Wolf Bluff here. Welcome back to some more Jump Force content on the Wolf Bluff YouTube channel. Uh, now, I have put out, I think, three Jump Force videos as of the time I'm recording this. And uh, I think out of all three of those, I have never shown you guys an entire match start to finish. Zero cuts. So today, I got a pretty crazy, uh, pretty crazy replay I want to show you. Uh, I remember it being really good and I'm gonna try to commentate it and try to remember what happened as it goes and That's gonna be that. I'll see y'all there All right, so this fight is Madara Yugi and Vegeta versus Jotaro Cell and Kane now uh, that's kind of like my go-to team Especially when I'm fighting these guys and I never really stopped to explain why in any of my videos So I want to tell y'all my mindset I think that Yugi is a great uh, Jotaro counter, but I primarily, I've been trying to learn Madara like a lot. I mean, he's a fucking, he's a cool ass character, you know? <laughs> so I've been trying to learn Madara, so I let off with him, but I typically lead with Yugi if I'm gonna, if I know at least that I'm gonna fight a Jotaro. But here I am, I've been trying to use the uh, the Susano to, to, you know, really keep Jotaro at bay, especially when he locks himself into his auto auto attack. Um, and then, oh, dude, I fuck, I hate, I hate when I get stuck with that attack. <laughs> um, but the other thing that I've been really doing a lot of is um, using his fire style. I think it's Katon to uh, to really. You see, you see, you saw me try to do it there. This is gonna be a fucking mess. <laughs> Um, and you know, Madara can get off a lot of really good combos against the Jotaro who doesn't know how to do like a, a perfect combo or anything like that. And, uh, if you can catch a Jotaro in like his attack kind of sequence and you use Uchiha reflection, which is basically just a counter attack, it's, it's, it goes far. <laughs> like it goes really far. But so far we're doing really good. I just use Yugi as a support there, which I like to do to kind of keep Jotaro at bay. Because close up, I mean, God, he is such a good character. But I think I like using Madara so much. It's because he, he's such a well-rounded character. You know, he has a counter, he has range, he has a physical attack that still does a ton. Uh, not a ton, but still has decent range. And here, I, I think I don't even think I meant to switch to Yugi here, but either way, I mean, there's no way even if he was blocking, he would win this. And that's round one. So now this is actually good because I'll be able to show you a little bit of Yugi versus Jotaro, even though right there, that was, that was not the uh, way I wanted that to go. But it's good. Oh, okay. Never mind. I switched to Vegeta. Huh. I wonder why. Now, I know I've been trying to learn these characters and learn my team a little more. I think I have about like eight-ish hours in the game. And a lot of that is just me mindlessly playing through story. Which, I mean, is still good. But it is. It's definitely really hard to avoid Jotaro's ult. You, you kind of have to dodge out of the way. Because I feel like even if you block, it'll just go right through it. But... One of the reasons I really like using Vegeta is his Gallic Gun. Um, once you, you know, really charge that thing up, it's 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 kind of easy to avoid. But if they're stuck in an animation or maybe just going a little slow, that is going to do a massive amount of damage. And Awakened Vegeta is my favorite character to alt with because of that fucking death beam. Um, another reason I really like using Vegeta is his Y. Um, that does a ton of damage and then using energy blast volley to kind of keep people at bay when they're like really really far away and i know that they could easily dodge a gallic gun Oof. But now we have an awakened cell and you see right there what i mean by it. it's just super easy to avoid that but nah okay i thought i would have avoided that Ooh. Now see, like, a situation right there, that would have been good to use Vegeta's Y. Because that should have gone right around and given me the KO. 
But that's fine. Round three. And it looks like I'm swapping right back to Madara. Oof. Now, dude, I have a shit ton of trouble with Kane. Like, I can't even tell y'all how much trouble I have with him. But I kind of figured out... Madara was my original Kane counter. Because I figured he's such a physical character. It's good to have someone with a little bit of uh, with a counter. And then using the Susano too. To, to try to at least keep a little bit of distance between us so I can hop back. But Kane, dude, Kane is such a broken fucking character. I have absolutely no clue how this character is even allowed in like online matches. Like it's fucking crazy to me, man. <laughs> And it's mostly because of his alt and how much he can teleport around with those like invincibility frames with his animations. But luckily the person I was fighting swapped right back to Jotaro. He was in the middle of an animation so I figured now is a good time as ever to get off a perfect Susano ultimate and do massive damage. But it's not going to KO from that range, not even close. Maybe if I was awakened Madara, but I don't think so. But, see how I end this off here. Ooh, you see. So, I actually really like to combo out into the Susano. But, right there, Firestyle Katon can, can get that easy peasy. And now, we are in round four. Ooh, but see, now I'm dealing with an Awakened Jotaro, which is not ideal. Ooh, okay. See, like, again, I feel like sometimes you can counter that, and so, or not counter, but I feel like sometimes you can block that, and sometimes you can't. Um, I've been getting a lot better at dealing with input lag and lag in general when I'm doing my counters, which is good, because that was giving me a ton of trouble. Then you see me mashing the X button. <laughs> now, you know, I'm, I'm getting pretty good at dealing with, ooh, and there you see his counter come in handy. I'm getting okay with dealing with Jotaro and Cell. It's it's Kane who I really, really still have a lot of trouble with when I fight. But I don't know. I feel like I'm learning my characters more. I'm learning my team's dynamics more, and and I'm getting I'm getting a little better. And I'll actually right now I'll have a little bubble pop up on the screen. That uh, Jesus, that's awakened Cell for you. Ooh, but then I use my ult. I wonder if that kills. I don't think that kills. I don't even remember what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. I have a little bubble pop up with uh, the last video I had showing off this team. And maybe y'all can tell me if I uh, improved or not. But if I can get a... There we go. I love, love, love using Yugi's support just to do just a bit more damage <laughs> but hey if y'all enjoyed this let me know um it was a ton of fun you know i love this game i've been having a blast playing it and uh you guys seem to be really enjoying the videos and i love putting them out for you and editing them and then adding some anime to the channel but with that being said like and subscribe comment down below link to the rest of the videos in the description and uh yeah that's gonna be all for me we'll fluff out